Um, all the girls in this room know that I smell nice, you know. That's the first thing that you, you know, you take in. You know, you want someone to smell you and start to imagine things that they want to do to you. My name is Timini Ebusen, also known as Bad Boy T. Biggest actor in Africa, best actor in Africa. My girlfriend's favorite boy and all-round bad guy. Do I consider myself a drip king? I mean, I feel like, I mean, I feel like I'm doing all right. You know, um, personally, I don't even think I have the type of money that would make me a drip king. But to my students, my subjects here in Nigeria and in Africa, I feel like I'm a drip king. Looking good is very important. You know, that's the first thing that people see before they hear what's inside your mouth, before they hear what you have to offer, they see how you look. You know, so you have to look A1 at all times. I cut my hair twice every week, right? And if I miss a day, I feel like I'm ugly as f**k. So the haircut is everything. You know you girls have makeup, they have all these other things, eyeshadow, blush, this one, that one. We, we have absolutely nothing. All I have is a perfect haircut and maybe some powder and some lip gloss. So yeah, it's, it's everything. Why I changed my haircut, right? Okay, let me explain to you, right? I've done maybe 100 movies and in all these 100 movies where I try to act a different character, I have this same f**k low cut. So I thought, okay, you know what, for the next slate of movies that I'm doing, let me um, give some sort of difference to my look. And I'm enjoying it. And weirdly, the ladies love it too, you know, maybe, you know, it's nice to give them something to pull as well. I feel like a different person entirely, I can't even lie. All right, my top five essentials for a clean drip. The first thing has to be a perfect cut. Now, the thing about it is that barbers are like tailors and like mechanics. You cannot over rely on them. So what I do is I have my Oramo clipper always by my side. If I just need to shave up my face a little bit, or I just need to just, you know, sharpen up the lines. That's number one. I never go anywhere without it. Number two, fresh kicks. You know, you gotta put those fresh kicks on. No matter how basic whatever it is that you're wearing is, you make sure you have nice kicks. You don't even have to wear like designer kicks all the time. Just give them something that looks nice, something that goes with the color coordination of what you're trying to wear. The third thing, perfume. Bro, everybody in this room, all the girls in this room know that I smell nice, you know. That's the first thing that you, you know, you take in. You know, you want someone to smell you and start to imagine things that they want to do to you. You want men to smell you and want you to come for another meeting because they just like the way their office started to, to smell nice. So I don't go anywhere without my killer strong emphasis on strong ass perfume. Fourth. Mm, lip balm. It's always very essential to have lip balm everywhere you go. Um, you don't want walking around with chapped lips. Um, that's a definite turn off for anybody that you're dealing with. And last but not the least, number five, I would say money in your pocket. <laughs> money in your pocket. Because when you have money in your pocket, you have a card that is heavily loaded, gives you confidence. And then confidence gives you sexiness. And confidence is also appealing. So yeah, you wanna you don't wanna be clean, but you know, afraid to hit this table here because if you hit it and you break the egg, you can't pay for it. You know what I mean? So yeah, confidence comes with money. Money gives you a clean drip. Those are my five top essentials. What's my go-to haircut? I definitely, definitely like a fade. You see the way this is? Yeah. You can never catch me without a fade. I feel like my head is shaped a little bit funny. So if I just allow you to see the whole thing with hair, yo, I might have no female fans left. Ah, uh, that's easy now. It depends on the technique you're using, right? But normally when I'm calling my clients, right? <laughs> when I'm chopping it up, I use that 0.5. 0.5 is definitely for, for skin fit. It depends on the type of hair we're talking about, you know? If you're talking about like an afro, that's 1.5. 1.5, you can use a one, depends on like, you can use a two as well, it depends on the size of the hair. So that's like a trick question. You can't really, you know, cause I need to see the person that I'm cutting. Does using a razor with multiple blades reduce the chances of getting ingrown hair? Hmm. Yes, I do. Yes, <laughs> got you. Yes, most definitely. Using a dull razor blade can um, lead to skin irritation, razor burns, um, and, 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 all, and all of that good stuff. 
Um, I feel like the best way you can present razor burns. First of all, I don't have any beards or anything like that, so God has blessed me without um, with the gift to not deal with that problem. But I guess use a sharp razor blade. Use a rhino clipper. Um, that's always a good place to start. Yes, I've actually gone bald before. I went bald for a movie, Breaded Life. Um, I didn't think twice about it. I got to set that day and I just realized that uh, I didn't want to look the same. So I cut my hair off and the word on the street is I still look good. No, I haven't actually, but the thing about it is when makeup artists see me, they always say, oh my God, who did your eyebrows for you? Because apparently like I have like perfect brows or whatever, but I've never touched it. Um, I don't know, man. Things that are perfect about me are just too much. I'm even tired of myself, so. Shaving your eyebrows will make them thicker and fuller. False. Ha. I know you're Baba. What is it? What is it the apple now? I think I'm a bad boy too, not Baba too. Are you done, my bro? Thank you, my G. All day, boy. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you have watched the grooming series brought to you by Orimo. And if you're a man and you want to look fresh like that boy T, then buy this. Stop playing. <laughs>